But Arsen is looking to issue a joint statement on the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Sources say bloc members are now finalising the exact text. This comes as ASEAN leaders get set to meet their Gulf counterparts in Saudi Arabia on Friday. CNA's Leong Waikit has more from Riyadh. Observers say the ASEAN GCC summit is significant because this will be the first time leaders of both blocs are meeting. Relations between both sides are also expected to pick up pace. But the meeting takes place amid the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. ASEAN had previously voiced support for a two-state solution with regard to the Israel-Palestinian territory issue. But the bloc has yet to issue a joint statement on the latest conflict. Analysts say a joint statement would boost ASEAN centrality, a move that's much needed in the current geopolitical environment. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong is also set to attend the ASEAN GCC summit in Riyadh as part of his six-day trip to the Middle East. Discussions on expanding cooperation and strengthening relations will also take place at the summit. Mr Lee met Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman on the first leg of his trip. Both sides agreed to boost ties in areas such as trade and investment and green energy. Mr Lee also visited historical and cultural sites in Medina. He will meet Singaporeans living in Saudi Arabia as well.